Backyard Shenanigans. Episode starting now. How lovely isn't it? How lovely are you dwelling places, oh Lord? Stop it. I will place these rains down in Africa, mate, if you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Rona! Again, he hits! What the <laughs> fuck? Fuck the rain, man. Yeah, I don't know. No, I agree, guys. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? What, what? what do you mean, this shit? We're perfectly legally allowed to perform this podcast at any given time in yeah, any well, area we want. We, we welcome, ask big ears. Welcome to a new backyard. And you're thinking to yourself, I know you're thinking to yourself, because you're on Spotify and you can definitely see our background, that we are not in Luca and Marco's backyard. Ah! We are not in a backyard. I mean, yeah, look around. We are in a tennis, what is it called? Tennis club. We're, we're in a tennis club. Tennis club. Club <laughs> of the tennis. We're in a tennis club room at the back of, of uh, it's a clubhouse of a tennis Court. Um, so we're technically in the backyard, yeah, and if you, don't, if you don't believe us, come here and find us, and you'll, yeah. you'll do it. We got I'll, fed. I'll give you the address. It's at 24. Seven. And if you get there, then you know. Have sexy times. Dick. Yeah. We'll have sexy times. Let's, let's not invite people over to this house. Have <laughs> sex with the people of this house. <laughs> hey, B. Marker. Yeah, I've been on. How are you, Luca? Good. Good. How are you, Jacob? I'm good, and that's our team. That's us. And none of us. Uh, unemployed. This is. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Let's have a round of applause, guys. <laughs> Jacob, now a stripper. You gotta get these titties out once in a while. Doesn't get paid very well as an apprentice, but, yeah, but, yeah, but then. Hey, yeah. I killed him. Yeah. So if, if this episode just skipped there, I, I told the biggest story of my whole life where I killed him. <laughs> and that's how he died. Oh. Yeah. And then he was, he was Italian, so when I shot him, it went. <laughs> they suck my cock. That's how they're all not Italians. Start. That's how all Italians. They start. are. They're Italian. They're boys. not Italian. They're, they're Japanese, whatever. They're Mario and Luigi. <clears throat> I'm on. pretty sure. Aren't they like and they speak Turkish like this. or some shit? And they're, they're not Turkish. No, they're. they're wait, do you not <laughs> actually think they're weird. Italian? They're not Italian. No, they are Italian. They're like Japanese made them, but they're Italian. Nah. They go. Let's go. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. And then in one of the things goes. You make a Mario. Yeah, oh, there was actually this thing that I saw the other day that in the original Nintendo 64 Mario, like Mario World, when you killed Bowser, it was like, see you later, gay boy. No, no. no. When you listen to it, he goes, see you later, gay boy. <laughs> but it, it's literally meant to be, see you later, big boy. But it just sounds like big gay boy. Because they're trying to do an Italian big accent. Boy. They're trying to do a kind of Italian It's because of, boy. It's cause of Japanese, mate. Everyone thought that it was oh it was God. Mario throwing Bowser across a lava lake saying, see you later, big gay boy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so much I'm better. <laughs> it's so much better. Oh, I'm going to love it. No, but yeah, I'm, I'm, currently, I'm, uh, I'm currently unemployed. Hmm. I'm now redundant. I'm not redundant. Uh, You're employed. You can't just go on with employed. And, and I employ other people. So what are you I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a dick to the people that were like, you know, like uh, I, someone applied the other day and I knew them by name and I said, no. Fair enough. That's I didn't actually. Do. Do. No, <laughs> I don't know anyone and I'm just definitely doing that for fun. Oh my God. Look at what you wow. Oh, by the way, yeah. Thank you so much for all of our shenanigans and our backyard yeah, shenanigans. Been you guys have been nice. People it's have good been, to be back. People have been saying it's good to listen to you guys again. The last episode was great. Luca told us that he was part of the Backstreet Boys. Mm. Yeah, um, that just Luke. came out. That was episode six. Came, no, seven that came yeah, out. Seven. Holy crap, this is episode nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Guys, that's the biggest number we can count to, so that's yeah. a pretty big deal for us. We're, we're lost after, after this, this. We've got nothing. I think I think we're just gonna have to start again for one <laughs> and just hope, like maybe two one. One one point one. We'll just go or the two, one after one. nine. One after nine. Two after nine. Surely, if you put a two nine. and a one next to each other, it makes another number. But I got mm. no idea about that. We're gonna be like the iPhones. Stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have an iPhone. Stupid and run out of battery quickly. <laughs> yeah. uh, Fucking hell! No, we're recording in a one. All oh, right. <laughs> Marco. We're gonna take a chance to take a congratulate chance, take a chance, take a chance. our promoters here. Congratulate our promoters over here. Who's our promoters? <laughs> you know them. Ah, uh-huh, okay. Um, Hacky Sacks Australia. Hacky Sacks Australia have. Um, we're, we're gonna do an ad for them. Also, thank you for the fundings. It's really helping. Oh, Luca, yeah. can you read the ad that I sent to your phone from? Um, from my, my phone. Oh shit, body, brother. Yeah, I tried to throw it under the bus there. Wait, but you sent it on the group. You sent it on the group. Rejoice! <laughs> Dick is harvested. 
We shall have it in abundance. <laughs> Wait, this is the hacky sack company. Hip hip! Hooray! Authorized by the Australian oh. government, Canberra. <laughs> Canberra? <laughs> this is an ad you had to read? Yeah. For a hacky sack company. <laughs> Rejoice! Up here for thinking, down there for kicking, mate. <laughs> Kick it out yourself today. <laughs> I've never known of an ad to start with rejoice. Exclamation mark, obviously. <laughs> you got one, you got two, you got hacky sacks for you two. Know you're on. You Hi. got a door, you got a gym. <laughs> <laughs> you got a gym, you got a door. You know? Probably. Yeah. Probably. You got no doors, you got no gym, mate. You, 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 got, you. you got a bed, you got a house. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, dude, that's, that's rude. Oi, um, you got a door, you got a room. Look, I just really wanted to quickly touch base with you. Um, Talk um, to me. And I, I want you to start on a topic that you brought up to me during the week oh, about mate. Boy Disney Scouts and Girl Scouts. And I, I want to get your take on it. Marco, stop fucking around with your microphone. I'll you fuck you, cunt. mate. I'll do it. All right, so I don't want to be rude to anyone that's actually a Boy Scout or Girl Scout or was a Boy Scout or Girl Scout. I don't give a fuck, first of all. So <laughs> you're a joke. Um, <laughs> Whatever you are, I don't care. If you do get offended... You don't know where I am. Oh, hold on a second. Can we call, can we call this? Can we make this a segment? Can we make this Luca gets grumpy about something? Yeah. So to be Luca, what you made me do? You heard of um, what really issues. grinds my groins? Like, now like it's grinds know. my gears. It's Luca, what you grinds. made me do. Luca, what you made me do, and then that can be his segment. Oh my and god, that's go, great. Look at what you made me do. Dwarfs. Dwarfs. <laughs> Okay, Anyways, no, no, um, let's later. Go, um, yeah, go. What do you say? So, I've got opinions. No, you're gonna start with look what's made me. Look what's made me do whatever. Look at do. what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. Yeah. Look at what, like, right. what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. Look at what you made me do. <laughs> 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 oh, Boy scouts, scouts, girl scouts. Here we go. Now I think I don't yes, know if you guys agree. Please. Don't get serious. No, because this... I, I know that Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, they're like, you know, you, know, you grow up, you learn a lot of skills. Yeah. Normal people learn skills growing up. <laughs> you don't need school or... No, you don't, what? You don't need school at all. No, okay, I see Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts as... Are you actually angry about this? I am a little bit. <laughs> I, because I don't up. understand. It's an you know, excuse... To as, so do you think that it's a waste of time going to the bush and learning how to make fire? Yes. Why? I don't know how to make fire. I didn't go to the bush. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> why I always carry one of these bad pappies around. It was my lighter. <laughs> no, it, it, it's yeah. like it's like going to the army. Uh, you're not actually fighting. You're yeah. just going to the army. To be you gotta, a you gotta understand. Boy. You gotta also understand though. To wear high socks. Yeah, yeah, and wear gypsy clothes. And get touched by one of the leaders. You get yeah. badges. You get badges. You get badges for what? You made a good fire today. <laughs> well done! No, it doesn't work like that. that. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's it is a badge. You've set all the tents on fire. <laughs> yeah, it is a badge. No, it's a poor excuse. you made a fire. It's a poor excuse to, like... To call yourself a man and a woman, it's not. It's not I don't, yeah, I don't think I mean, around most of them like ten, woman. so I don't know too many of them saying they're men. Ten. Yeah. Yeah, because they teach you young, and then they expect you to be a man or a woman when you grow up. Just there's no tool. Get your father in this pool to teach you how to make a fire. Go home, set the house on fire, do whatever you want. You know how to do it. That you. And thank you for listening to our segment called. You learn from your mistakes, mate. You learn from your mistakes. Look at what you made me do. Let's ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. have a <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> no, that, was, that, was, that wasn't very good content, gotcha. but I, I actually am angry. I can't explain any words. You just, you just don't like Boy Scouts. No, I, not that I don't like it. It's nothing against them. Just don't pretend you're a man. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Don't pretend you're a man. Sick. No, you, pretend. You gotta earn it. You can't just have badges it. and I, be I, a man. Do, do you see my badges? Do you, do you see my badges? <laughs> I've got a massive cock. Have some whiskey. I don't need be badges for that. Oh yeah. Can um, can, Luca? Can you take a swig of whiskey on air for me, please? Genesee whiskey. Tennessee and, and, whiskey. And if you don't, then it's really bad because, like, then you're the bad guy. You're a sweet. And as Billy Eilish says, <laughs> it's strawberry wine. Yeah. I'm driving later. Have a sip. Okay. Who's driving later? You're driving? Yeah. I'm driving. No, you're not. Oh, Holy fuck. <laughs> Luca, stop. <laughs> Luca. Show me your fucking badge for that bitch. Nah, I didn't drink that one. <laughs> well, I'll give us a sweet 
look at what you made me do. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Oh, Marco too. Oh God, it's not very yummy. It's pretty nice. It's Tennessee whiskey. On your face. <laughs> You're like, it's pretty nice. Yeah, oh, it's so strong. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna call a guest um, now, um, and let's yeah. let's hope they pick up the phone. We're gonna call up our good friend Pete, who's going to be our next backyard. Mm. Peter, um, and we, this is a preparation. We're gonna call Vesuvius. <laughs> Vlaziu. Fuck, I was close. Um, so we're gonna call Peter Vlaziu mm. and just suss out if he's the kind of guy that we want to bring our podcast to. Yeah, fucking know. Yeah, okay, uh, there are questions yeah, that we have it. to ask. Let's do so it. So I'm gonna give him a call right now. Using our new call. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Hmm. This is actually I awesome. actually love that kid. Oh, He's yeah. taking too long now. <laughs> He's got a cow right, toy. Let's go. <sighs> He's got a cow toy. Don't answer. Hello? Is this Peter? Speaking. Peter Blasi, welcome back at Shenanigans, mate. Yeah, hey, how are you, buddy boy? Oh, what a <laughs> big Peter fangirl Fale, moment. Peter Fowl, you're back. Peter Fowl. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going, What's up, boy? boys? <laughs> What's happening? How's everyone enjoying this shitty cold weather in lockdown? Well, yeah, we're definitely in lockdown. We're not in a podcast that's perfectly legal. We're just drinking Peter. Tennessee whiskey, mate. That's what keeps us going. Yeah, surely you guys are all bubble buddies or some sort of thing, or bum buddies. <laughs> are you guys buddies. inside each other? Or like, what are you... Yeah, no, we do this podcast <laughs> holding, like, circle joke. Circle <laughs> joke. So, <laughs> so it. What's it called? The Albanian steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, all aboard, all aboard the man train. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter, we just wanted to quickly run a couple questions by you because we're unsure about coming to your house, which is the next backyard that we're coming to. Um, but we just want to know that you're not going to, you know, impale us with... Your massive no, I thought, I thought bear. We were, I thought we were wondering if he was going to impale us. Oh, no, yeah, we're wondering if you're going to impale us. That's no, right. That's if you the... are, don't tell us. Let it be a oh, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, because, I mean, it's uh, the offer's always there. I mean, just, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Just don't, don't make it weird, okay? Just don't make it weird. weird. No, we're no, no, there's nothing weird. I mean... Yeah, we'll, we'll make eye contact. That's what we're yeah, 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 yeah. That's so what we call Julian. I guess it's kind of say. like how it's like. How do you want it though? I mean, do you want to go like a bit Bill Cosby? No, I, I, I think I was aiming more towards like careless whisper. But you can go careless <laughs> whisper. You could go in that way, I suppose. Oh, I mean, the, the the options are there. I mean, we can also like role play like a Joseph Fritzl thing if you guys want to pretend to be my kids. Oh man, we can be your kids, bro. You can kick us down the stairs whenever you want. <laughs> I thought we were just telling one thing. I'm down as long as the fucking flute's in like, hey, you know. hey, we also have a... Hey, we've got a set of stairs here too, so if you want to play Harry Potter, I'm happy to watch you under there. <laughs> I'm down for that. Let's play Harry Potter. Okay, so we're going to go, we're gonna give you some interview questions. Um, um, we're going to start off with Marco here. He's got a question no, for No, I want your question first. Your I think yours is first. important. Okay, all right. Listen, would you rather spend five minutes alone with Joseph Fritzl or... Naked. The rest of your life being Joseph Fritzl. <laughs> you're, yeah, no, yeah, that's pretty good. And, uh, in the first five wow. minutes, you're tied up. You're tied up with Joseph Fritzl, the notorious <laughs> kitty fiddler, um, trappy. So for five minutes, you're tied up in a dark ba- basement, or you are Joseph Fritzl and forever. You're not allowed to enjoy because that doesn't, doesn't count. Uh, but listen, you can also play it off. You, no one might know that you're Joseph Fritzl, but you have to know what you've done. Let's make everyone spicy. You can bring one item with you. No, it's not. <laughs> right, here you go. <laughs> Metal dildo. Well, is this is this pre him getting caught, or do I actually get to live a life of luxury as Joseph Fritzl? <laughs> This is like this is like this is your dream, man. You tell us. Nah, this is like you agree now, you start tomorrow, sort of thing. <laughs> you agree now, you start tomorrow. You're hot. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your thoughts? Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning more towards the Joseph Fritzl thing, but maybe yeah. do it better than he did and not get caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, I get that. But would he be like <laughs> physically and and mentally uh, Joseph think, Fritzl? Yeah, look like Joseph Fritzl. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do five minutes of Pete being absolutely destroyed by Joseph Fritzl. He oh, wants to be Joseph like Fritzl really for the rest <laughs> of his life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Does Joseph Fritzl know that they only have five minutes? <laughs> I want to do the I want to do the destroying. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. You want to be yeah. the yeah 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 yeah. yeah. You're oh. the alpha. We get it, Pete. All right. Yeah, uh, next up for our next question, please, Luca. Luca. Oh, I don't have one. Yeah, give him a question. You got to ask him about his house. His house. Yeah, you were telling me about his cabinets. <laughs> Go ask him about his cabinets. 
His cabinets. Do it! Alright. How many cabinets do you have in your house? And many of them would you give away? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you what are you using your house? What are you what are you doing in your house? What, 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 what drawer systems this? do you use? <laughs> what colour are your cabinets? They're very fucking metal, mate. Let him talk. Like these are, are these are, are these legit questions. <laughs> We're like, worried about yeah. coming to your house. We just don't want to, you know, like. What is your house like? I'm man. a cabinet maker, so I need to know the kitchen's well, good. Like, are you a wine I'm person, beer person, naked, dressed? We don't know. Well, how do we present ourselves? We know you have a camel toe. Let him talk. Oh, oh well, there is a bar, and it's stocked with a lot of a lot of scotch. That's that's good. There's a fair. I mean, there's a fair bit of booze here. Uh, quickly, quickly, okay, like, the reason we know. ask is because you've already said that you want to be Joseph Fritzel from tomorrow, and now you're going to lock us in a cabinet. <laughs> we need to know that you'll fit. We all have bars, mate. Yeah. Name any room bar. The okay. reason why I asked how many you would give away. Because we can determine the size, know if we can actually get stuck in there or get out. That's it. And you lock us in. So, next up for yeah. our, our next question. Thank you for answering. You have a question. bar. <laughs> he has a bar. That's his question. He's yeah, just get absolutely drunk. I'm pretty excited. Marco has the penultimate question, the question that's going to throw you into something. I'm not stalling so that he can think of one. I'm not talking too much so that he can definitely think of one. Well, he man, hasn't I couldn't think one. anywhere with you fucking yapping about. <laughs> All right, go. Yeah. Marco, ask Pete a question. Go. Pete, we've known each other for a long time, haven't we? Yeah, I'd say uh, uh, long enough. Long yeah, enough. Long enough is good. Long enough is good, buddy. Long enough is good. I just want to ask you one thing. Oh fuck! I thought that was your question. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nerve wracker. It's probably a better than the question I'm about to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> if you were stranded in South America, and you had two options: one, walk to Africa, find a lion, eat the lion, walk back to America. Live. <laughs> Your second option being I feel like this is really just off the cuff, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 mate. No, no, no. <laughs> this is scripted. <laughs> as scripted as can be. He I'm said, holding he a said, piece of paper right here. Like. He said, let's not write this down. He said, just think of one until we call them. And I was the only one that thought Jack, Jack, finish, finish, my, finish my question. I told you before. What is it? Okay, so it's either walk across from South America to Africa, yeah. eat a lion, come back and survive. Correct. Or just grow up in Frankston. Oh, fuck. Well, they got meth in Frankston, so I guess they got a few more options in the line, <laughs> don't they? Shard parties. <laughs> well, you are a walk, though, so Frankston's not good, mate. It's downcast. Oh, look, it? to be honest, Frank's, look, the logical choice is kind of Frankston. It's closer. Yeah, yeah but... And fuck, who knows? Like, the line could have friends. I mean, yeah, America to friends. Africa is not that far. I mean, it, it, there's literally no walk <laughs> that you can do to get there. Sure, with that. Oh, yeah, you, maybe. Know, you know what? There's less people getting shot in Frankston than there is in America. I'll take my chances in Frankston with the jabs and all the fucking junkies. That's exactly what we want here now. We know yeah. you won't shoot us when you rape right. us, Joseph Fritz. That's right. it. <laughs> uh, boys, can we give a round of applause to Pete Lazio? Yep. Thanks, mate. Right. Right. Be on soon, mate. You Pete, pass the test. We'll be coming to your house as soon as we can. Uh, Pete, you got anything to say to the backyard shenanigan fans? Oh, bloody hell. Um... You got nothing good know, to right? say. <laughs> <laughs> Shit cuts. Shit cuts. I was just trying to think of something good to say. I don't know. Keep on doing good work, boys. You're a funny bunch. Oh. And also, highly recommend. This is based off our cricket trip too. Oh, Have yeah. you guys done that salami thing and got one and fucking roasted it oh, over the mate, open fire? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Holy oh, shit! Do it on video. And we'll post what are you guys right? doing? Get a cooking segment on the show. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. We cooking will with the boys. <laughs> All right, Pete, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch, okay? All right, boys, have a good one. See you know, have a good one, mate. Get your on. See you, mate. What, what a lovely bloke he is. What a lovely bloke. bloke. Who the fuck is that? I'm actually we, looking forward to getting raped by him. When we go to his house, we should do the salami thing. Yeah, we should. Because oh. it, it doesn't feel normal if we don't so, do it with him. Listen, yeah. what he did was he got a fucking salami, just, just a regular, like, fully cut salami, and then just put it in a stick and put it on the fire, and right. then just chewed it off the stick. Yeah. Fucking incredible. Absolutely delicious. Now it doesn't melt, but it is crunchy. <laughs> just, it's just kind crazy. of the opposite of melting is being crunchy. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it, it, great. If people didn't know, Jake, if oh, we did it with actual salami, Jake, angry. if you did it with you everything, I just trust these things. Do we need another segment of Luca? No, 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 not tonight. Round two! <laughs> It seems like that was a transition to the next one, <laughs> but it isn't. We just Anyways. Go, we're just done. <laughs> nah, that's, um, yeah. Nah, it was oh, good to mate. talk to Pete, and, and he took an interesting decision with the Joseph Ritzel one. 
Um, yeah, he did. Yeah. Do you know who Joseph Fritzl is? Yeah, he's a kitty fiddler. Yeah, well, he, he kitty fiddled his child, yeah. his daughter, and, and kept her in a wife in a cellar under the under the house. Did he make her pregnant? But, yeah, yeah, pregnant. And the kid had, she had two kids, but he made her pregnant a bunch of times. Why? Uh, because he's a fucking because he's Peter Blasey. But he didn't leave the. Not, I think he's a. F- no, nah, I'm not gonna say. He's gonna leave the baby. Like be born though. He did. They were born in the basement. They lived their life in the basement for two years. And so, what did he do with the kids? He killed most of them by kicking her in the stomach, but she hid some of them so that it didn't happen again. And then they had to. Have so the kids. he fucked her to make her pregnant and kill the baby. Or well, that wasn't planned. He just did it. No, no, no. He he, oh, he would just do it. He wasn't planning it. He was just covering up the consequences. This what is fucking. Dirty this is taking a dark turn. This I'm, this, I'm, 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 this is. Let's get out of here. Um, Joseph <laughs> Fritz. Oh my god! Reverse. <laughs> Joseph Fritz. No, that's it. That's not Joseph Fritz backwards. Oh, it's Joseph Fritz. Fritzel Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He got it. Fritzel Pretzel. Ah! Hey! Um, I don't want to talk about something. Well, you got to talk into the mic about something. I want to talk about something else. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, All right. Look, <laughs> this is always how the transition starts. Look. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about saying it, but I figured something out. You oh. know when you have like those like Eureka <laughs> moment? Epiphany. Yeah, I do. And that. This is yeah. a good one. I recently had that about something. Uh, yeah. I don't like ham. 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 Like shaved ham? Why don't you like ham? It's Jacob? wet. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I, listen, yeah. shit ham. I yeah. like, I like, yeah. yeah listen, now, Very if, correct. Sorry, if you fucking like, like bake me a ham and cut it off, delicious, right? But ham from the deli, cold cut ham, not good. It's because you're getting the cheap, you're getting Hungarian Dude, shit. I get the fancy that's, that's shit every time I go somewhere. I get, I get the fancy shit every champagne. time I go. And I can't, I get champagne, triple it's smoked, shit. everything. What about uh, honey? Just honey smoked, same thing. It just is wet and sloppy. I, I, I'm not about, like, I have sauce for that. I don't need the just money. Just get a towel and dry, baby. <laughs> you're a fucking child. Man. I was just trying to express something to no, my No, no, you shut up and listen to me now. You got an Italy? No one, no you one got an You got an Italy fucking butcher. <laughs> and agrees. you don't want some ham. <laughs> no one does. And you'll, you'll understand what ham is. You got anywhere in Italy. It's so funny. Like, like give us some ham. and be like, cut some water with some crap. It's the like, pinnacle. Oh, are oh, you Italians? Don't talk in Italian on this podcast. I'll do what I want. Okay, go. Cuts. I don't know what to say. He's done a good job. Did you did you have that when you were a kid? When people were like, "Oh, so you're Italian," say something in Italian. Yeah, I never did. I got angry, punched him in the throat. Yeah, same. <laughs> Every time. Stop talking to me. Ah, oh, it's <laughs> cool. Let's go. Bang. That's what, cool. What what are we calling? Oh, you the know victims that we punched. Are we actually gonna call it? We're gonna call it that. Oh, oh God. We're calling you guys the creator. Get, you guys get a bonus. What? The creator. You guys get a the bonus. The maker. Oh, she doesn't know, so be quiet. Shh. Herself. Oh, wait, they're not being quiet. No, Mark was asking. Oh, sure. You two talk. You talk. You're calling It's your phone. Oh, fuck it is, eh? <laughs> she's up. Shh. So she's never going to pick up the phone. No. And then she's going to call back in a second. And it's, the calling is going to come over the podcast. Yeah. This is this is a disgrace. Number two. <sighs> Wow. Fuck off, Siri. Hey. Guys, hey. you know, I'm sorry to let you down, but we don't have any She'll money for this. Yes, you will. Call yeah. back. We'll talk to her in a second. She'll um, be back. Um, um, what were you saying about it, though? Oh, no, epiphanies. You had an epiphany? Yeah, epiphanies. Yeah, crazy shit. So, oh, okay, now we're answering this call okay, first. Okay, we're, we're answering this call, this call first. Shh. Hey, Nord, mate, we're recording. How are you? Hey, tell me. What's happened? Um, we just want to say that we miss you. <laughs> lying He's lying mother Don't believe him <laughs> This is my mother ladies and gentlemen Hello mother I miss you too oh, just gonna, just gonna chase, We're just going to chase house, around the I say it must be something urgent Because I was on the phone with Eleonora I That's said, right. oh, look, uh, close because I need to call Jacob. Maybe they have something oh, Three way call No, this is an urgent We just want to say that we love you We love you, Norma I know, I love you too But what you have done Why you say that? Because we smashed the cars, burned them, and then drank all night. All we want from you is to make the um, mushroom risotto, please. Mushroom what? Mushroom risotto. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, you want to make a mushroom risotto? Ah, you want to make it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Luca. Yes, mother. Luca. Okay. Stop. Shall I take it, fungi? No, I'm not making it. You're making it. <laughs> I bought fungi today. Mate. 
Good cause us. There's a conversation we can have another time right. about for right. pasta. Right. Nod, but thank you so much. You're being very great. We'll speak to you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye. She thought up. Uh, she thought she started giving me ingredients in each other. It's like are you, are the mushrooms uh, dry. I was like, no, bro, you're not making it. It's like a whole mushroom risotto. <laughs> the mushrooms dry. <laughs> now what are you gonna want to do? It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Loki. Here's some I made earlier. He <laughs> sends you through a Love photo this. of of mushroom risotto <laughs> like this. Ah, and the mom's good. in the background. Do you actually uh, like mushroom risotto? I. That's my favorite thing, bro. Yeah, no, really? No. Nah. You like a fat risotto. I once remember seeing mm. two comedians call a risotto hot wet rice. <coughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it was pretty good. Hot like, wet rice. It is hot wet rice. It's, it's so that's good. That's all man. it is. I'll I can eat so mind. much of it as well. Which one? I can eat so much of it. You can eat a lot of risotto. When I go to vanilla, hey boy, hey boy, hey boy. I always get that. <laughs> at, at, you get risotto. Mushroom risotto. Oh, you did get mushroom risotto last time we were We got there. two plates, remember? Fuck, I would Three. never ever get risotto over nah. something else. Actually, Especially no. like a restaurant. I, wouldn't I like it. good risotto, but I'd always get a meat. Me, me and Chris got two plates each, and then we got a third, but we did it in half. We couldn't finish it. I know. But it was good. Damn. No, I'm not. I'm about risotto. It's just, no, it's just, just a rice dish. It's because you're Australian. You don't know what to eat. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You're confused. He's confused. You don't know what's good. confused. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, What's your national dish? Pumpkin risotto. Fuck mate, shout it me up. What is it? Kangaroo meat. It's pretty yum. Have you ever had it? Yeah, it's kangaroo gross. meat. It's fucking delicious. It's too chewy. I can't it's so yummy. It's not chewy. It's gamey. <laughs> All right. I feel like I thought he was gonna say like bouncy, <laughs> <laughs> but he said it would be gamey. Jelly like. This is the correct term to use. You're a strange fellow. Fuck. Um, yeah, what were you going to say? You're yeah, pushing. your brain is giving you jade off instructions. <laughs> now, let me, yeah, let me explain. Yeah. Let me explain. God, my stomach hurts from that fucking sweet of whiskey. <laughs> 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 fucking dying, you can't. Dude, your liver's on like 10%, bro. Oh. You could have stopped drinking whiskey. Probably I feel right good. Now. I could have another one, but I probably shouldn't. You should. Mm, later on. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> about five minutes. So, you know... Now we're 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 basing we're basing this off straight people. Yeah? <coughs> so you can be you can be straight, you can be gay. You can be straight, you can be gay. Whatever. Straight people though. They go on. They go on. They are like gay people are part of that. No, just this is more this is more good to do with straight people. Yeah. Like you go you go to you go, you go have a sesh with you yourself and I, and you you, you know you start your brain's telling you like, I'm straight but, I want that dick. I want. Oh, I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm gonna get that dick. Sorry. To, to, how, to, to how do you know homosexuals don't do it as well? Don't masturbate. They, I'm not no, saying they that. definitely do. That's what, what I'm saying. But why are you saying it's for the straight people? I'm just saying because nah, homosexuals nah, like nah, penises. Disgusting. They like penises. I'm saying as a straight point of view, you don't like penises. So it's like, you know, like I don't like penises, but I'll make this penis come. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, look at your idea. You're like, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make oh. this penis. That's Lucas Do you know what I mean, though? <laughs> yes, but you're being so, wrong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you think that straight people, uh, uh, straight men, because a yeah, lot of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If I, I'd go so far as to say a lot of women don't have penises. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not okay. gonna. Uh, exactly, but I'm just gonna straight say. Straight men, straight men. Yeah. Listen, everything on this podcast that we say is right. Put in a percentage. So yeah, that's the same way for penis. girls, you know? Like. So you think that if you're a straight male, it's a little bit gay to jerk off? No, it's not gay. <laughs> Are you worried? Don't be worried. It's okay. No. <laughs> is, that, is someone told you this? Dude, dude. Is someone... Did you see him? Did you see him? I said, I said, do you think it's gay? He's like, I'm not gay. Mm. That is Everyone's not gay, gay except for me. Every, I'm not I am gay. not gay. I just... <laughs> I kiss girls. Trust me, Jamie. I'm not gay. I was like, whoa, bro. Okay. What, what's wrong with being gay? <laughs> Don't fucking do this shit. I'm going to put a midget card on the I'm a little bit... <laughs> Am I? You better be quiet about it. I was going to bring up Hasbulla. <laughs> Straight What's his right name? Side. What's his name? H- Hasbulla. Hasbulla. Hasbulla Murganov. Yeah. I don't know who that is. The midget fire about to happen, mate. No, no, I don't trust that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about it, you know, trust like... <sighs> Have I said this before? On You've this? never said this before on this. Okay, let's just get it out in the open. I don't trust dwarves. <laughs> little people. No, little, little nothing people. against you, I just... <laughs> I just could never trust you. No, I know you guys are all lovely. Like I'm, not, I'm down. Lucas trying to like discriminate on anything. No, I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I, I, you're good people. I, I, I trust. I don't know. I trust you're good people. I just don't trust you as a person. Midgets. Like, 
dropped them. Are we talking to Marks? I am. Fatality. But you guys keep going, Fatality. yeah, like that, talking around. This no. is good. Go. If I get into it, it's going to be really bad. We're going to lose <laughs> a lot of followers. Our entire dwarf is in fan base. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's... it's okay. They only made up a small part of it. Anyways, we'll yeah. keep moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dwarf is Oh, fuck. I just got that. That was great. <laughs> we're, not, we're not short on any of those things. We're not. Oh, you got to stop with these short jokes, oh, mate. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, mate. Yeah. Oh, my They're God. <laughs> they won't like it. We do. <laughs> As tallies. Anyways, you're... You're just small, and I don't know what you're capable of. I don't <laughs> trust you for that. I'm sorry. This is this is. See, I thought I thought bringing this up would embarrass him because he'd be after no. Talk about this, but is it embarrassing for you? No. No, not for me. I'm private. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I'm private for being honest. People you know? have the voice to speak their mind. <laughs> I am speaking my mind. Dude, some people just have small you thoughts. Definitely on politics. That was the most browsing speech I've ever yeah. heard in a long time. You know? People speak their minds. <laughs> <laughs> than the Murphys. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're shit. <laughs> sometimes it might be good. <laughs> sometimes it might be shit. <laughs> that goes my favorite. Oh, okay, oh. so so you were speaking about what uh, what is your point on? Oh, that's it. It's just um. So you're wondering how it happens, or why it happens, or happens. the way it happens. No, it's just like I guess I, I guess I'm mean, insinuating it's a big gay for a straight man to like. Making one penis come so much. You know? <laughs> it's like by getting, himself. It's like getting your dick sucked. Yeah. You're not. Well, there's another person you, involved though. No, if a man is sucking your dick and you're a man, you're not gay. You're right. This is not how it's going to This is not helping you. You just said you don't trust dwarves. Let's just leave gay sex out. <laughs> okay. I know, but we don't know enough about it. They're gay for sucking your dick. He's got a point. No, he's got a point. I, tell you, I, I, I fully agree with you. The cock meat sandwich. I, I fully agree with you. I fully agree with you. It's just scary to listen to you start the conversation with. Sorry, guys. If he's sucking your dick, I don't want to hear the next part of that sentence. It's very tough to listen to. Anyways. No, I was thinking about it the other day. Not, nothing to, a bit to do with penises. Because you were saying it the other day. And a lot of our friends, I was saying a lot of people that we know sometimes look in at us like hanging out mm. and think we're a bit weird. Mm. Do you, I don't know if we're weird or if they're weird for not being like us. For flopping your cock out? Just doing stuff like that. Just like, think, you know, before bed, we give each other a kiss goodnight or something like that. On the dick. <laughs> no, no. What have you been doing? That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. You're weird. You're weird. I'm weird. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, um, um, no, but, like, you know, the idea that, like, you know, our mates, like, it's, they're very hard to embarrass. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to embarrass Paolo. No, you can't. I you don't can't. know how to do the, it. The, the man's a rock. I, I literally have tried for my like whole fucking life. Yeah, to well. Every time Paolo touches me, it's like the beauty and the beast. He's the beast. <laughs> oh, I can't get away from it. I'm not gay or homosexual. It's just every time Paolo reaches for my cock, I freeze. I can't do anything. Oh, it's scary, isn't it? It's so One scary. One day, Paolo chased us, us three boys around the house trying mm. to grab our balls with you pins on the toilet. You lost yourself in the club a few weeks ago. He was chasing us around. It no. was four of us. and One of you and we're all terrified. Paolo is like the Terminator. He's like, like when he ch- chased us around the house trying to grab our balls, he had pinchy hands, like, like Lego-shaped hands. Yeah. Fuck that. And it was getting in and just trying to grab our balls and squeeze them. Just squeeze them, which is the worst thing you can do with balls. Yeah, no, it's not. I would take getting hit in the balls every day. But the thing is about his squeezy hands was that you could have your hands on either, like, like fully covering yourself and he would get in and behind it with yeah. his squeezy little immune fucking head and do these ones on your testes while you're just, like, pumping. You're like, oh, God. But even if I'm holding it, dude, I he, can't. No, once he's got it, he's got it. he's got your balls, you lose. I don't think I've done this. Oh, well, the thing is, it happened. It was chasing us around the house. Mm. And this, yeah. this, 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 when I say chasing us around the house, we were like, like 19, 20 years old. This was in like, like when we were kids. He was gone for the balls. I locked myself in the toilet for like 20 yeah, minutes. I was trying to hide, but he was too quick. <laughs> I found a toilet. He had just... me, and I was the only target because Jacob was out of the picture. <laughs> I was the only one getting Dude, molested. He molested me for like five minutes, and then Luke for like 25. No, <laughs> Jesus! It's not okay. It was so funny. The oh. scars. And then, and then, yeah, the cricket club the other night. We were out in the middle of the oval in the cricket club. That's really cool. That looks really sick for the, for the video. We're uh, we yeah. at the cricket club and we're out in the middle of the oval and you basically... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> They're probably our listeners too. But we were out in the middle of the field and you couldn't see anything the whole way around. But we knew Paolo was in the darkness. Yeah. Paolo was out there in the darkness. Because yeah. we, we saw him run into the darkness, which was also just terrifying that someone just ran away. 
So we knew that he was going to fucking jump out and do something to us. So we're like, okay, let's fucking run for the club rooms. Mm. Do you remember? It was like something out of a film. Yeah. We got in the middle of the oval and whispered yeah. to each other because we knew that he could hear us if we knew what we were going to do. Yeah. And we said, everyone make it back to the club rooms as fast as we can. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we start fucking running straight towards the club rooms. It's the power. only source of light out here. You cannot see pallets. The, we're all in the dark other yeah. than the light club rooms up there. And we're running across the cricket field. And we're going, and you can just hear everyone going, <laughs> and then here from far right, <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 and Paolo's running at us from the dark, <laughs> on the side, at full speed, at full, full speed. speed. I, I slow down 80% because I, I don't know what to do. We, we I was like, like, he's got me no <laughs> matter what, I might as well give up. Luca froze. <laughs> I just kept running at the exact at me while I was full sprint running. Fuck that, dude! dude it's dude, so scary. It, when I say like he, he ran with, he's, he's a quick kid, but he doubled his speed just to kill us. <laughs> like that's his only goal was his mind was his thing red. And the look on his face, because it's not like he's laughing. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get it. He's a joker. Yeah, he's serious about the it. The fucking the silence of the night and just four people running, and you all know who's running because you're all near each other, and then you just hear footsteps coming from the side. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest thing I can I, I can. I don't, I don't understand. understand. I, I had like. I had the like, thing is, you look at him and it's like, oh, he's a lovely fella. Yeah, he's a teddy bear though. He's just a rapist. <laughs> That's what he is. Let's call him by his real name. <laughs> what rapist? Rapist! I'm definitely not a raper. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, <laughs> do you remember we watched Super Bad the other week? Oh. How fucking good is Super yeah, Bad? I, I actually forgot about the movie. It's so yeah, good. Same. It's so good. Like it's like it's not a like strange opinion to say. Everyone likes Super Bad, yeah. but you go back and watch it, and you're like, no, this is fucking fantastic. Yeah. Like you know, like you, you can think of classic comedy movies like The Other Guys, mm-hmm. yeah. that we've heard all the time, or you know, let's like, say Family Guy, something like that. But people think it's Super Bad. They're like, yeah, it was a good one. You watch it again, you're like, this could be one of the best ones. Like, this is fucking. Yeah, it was pretty good, especially Jonah Hill in it. King. Just fuck, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. Well, the thing about my bag is, <laughs> it's like out of my cock. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, I'll get the drinks for you. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of gay, but I'll get it for you. <laughs> you scratch my back, I scratch your back. <laughs> what, what did Michael Sarah say when he's like, "Yeah, look at that cake. It's the fucking shit, right?" <laughs> the tiramisu cake. <laughs> it's good shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's good shit, isn't it? Oh, bro, that oh. whole film. And Seth Rogen. Oh, actually, I was having this discussion with Sarah today. You know Seth Rogen? Mm-hmm. You know, like, most celebrities, they look younger than they are? You know, yeah. like, like, what's his name? Oh. Um, like, um, Seth Rogen looks old. Well, the thing is, yeah, well, you think of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith, yeah? He's, like, 60. He never, never. But he's gorgeous, yeah, right? Nah. You think of Ryan Reynolds. He's on his way to 50. And look at him, you know? For that, like, that doesn't even right. Seth Rogen's not even 40 yet. He looks like he's about 80. Dude, that's what I'm saying. He's the full yeah. opposite of that thing. If he came out and said he was 56, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, but do you know why? He's 39 years old. He smokes a lot of pot. Yeah, but the thing is, he's, 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 so is James Franco, but James Franco looks 20. But he's also like, <laughs> fuck I. <laughs> There's something about Seth Rogen's face that's so wearied. It's so older. Plus his hair's all fluffy and Yeah, but have you seen, have you seen this like, new, he's got a new show or movie coming up and he shaved his beard and literally does not look like him. At all. It's crazy. Uh, how, does he, how does he laugh? It's tough. It's really tough. Uh, it's something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's dead. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's Seth Rogen's like not even like 48. Because I was thinking about it like, like uh, I think it's it's so strange that, like how celeb- do celebrities look young or do we just not think that they grow up? You know what I'm saying? Because like, George Clooney all of a sudden had grey hair. And I was like, God damn, like you're still sexy with grey hair. Yeah. But you're all of a sudden grey hair. Or Brad Pitt went from being, you know, Brad Pitt of the early 2000s to being big beard, long hair, motorbike. It's like fucking Paul Rudd. But the thing is, you forget. Paul Rudd. No, that guy doesn't change. Paul Rudd is the same face from day one. Because you forget about them. Because, like, I remember when Justin Bieber got famous. It was like 13, whatever. Yeah. I don't think about Justin Bieber. I don't care about Justin Bieber. But then, like, I remember it was like, he's 18 already? Like, where the fuck? Where the fuck have I been? Like, and, it, and it, you just forget about them and then you realise, what the fuck is going on? And then you just get older and older. It's like Billie Eilish. Wasn't she like 16 when she started or something? She was like like 14 when she started. Like, How the like, fuck is she? Oh, Ocean, 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 Ocean Eyes was like when she was like 14, 15. And she's already 18? Where Dude, the fuck have we been? Crazy though. Like, like it's one of those weird things that, yeah, they sneak up at you. Like, or like the fact that like Justin Bieber's like my age. Yeah, what? like... 
<laughs> yeah, dude, he's like he's like old. He's not like he's not your age. He's like old. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> Justin Bieber on TikTok. Let's see how old he is. Yeah, sure. Uh, give us a guess. It's twenty-seven. Uh, I reckon. Fuck, twenty-four. No, twenty-five. Dude, I'm twenty-four. Okay, Luca, what'd you say? Twenty-seven. 25. Okay, what would you say his birthday is? I don't know. I'm just Sep- really September. Okay, you have to go on September. What are you going for? July. No, how did you not get this, guys? <laughs> are you idiots? <laughs> it's 12. You can find There's 365 it. days. You just get it right. <laughs> Fuck. All right, whatever. He's born on the 1st of March, 1998. Four. Wow. Oh, so he's Miriam's age. He's 27 years old. Yeah, wow. Well. He's older oh, than me. I was right. You were bang on right. Damn. But I wanted you to guess the date, and you said September, so... Yeah, because you... Yeah. No, I just feel like you missed out, Logan. <laughs> I feel like you wanted him to be in the same enough. month as you as, as, as your birthday. You're in August, though, aren't you? What day? 24th. No, the day, not the... Oh, I don't know what day your birthday is on. Monday! This year falls on a Monday. <laughs> I know, every year. Are you not Do you actually? Yeah. Why? I don't know, I'll look it up. <laughs> hey, but you remember? Yeah. What, I the what the fuck? fuck? Do you What's actually... Monday? No, I'm gonna check the date because if it's not on a Monday, I'm gonna be. I'm, this is so strange. Monday to Friday, yeah, the Monday. <laughs> You're the worst person. So it's your birthday is August. August what? Oh, because it changed. Yeah, uh, August twenty second. Yeah, Sometimes Sunday. When Sorry. The, when the year moves oh, faster. Oh, did you say it changes? It yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just remembered my like next year's is yes, Monday. Yes. Sorry. Oh, you know next year's as well. <laughs> Stop, don't, don't make that face at him. He was very angry. Next year is Mondays. <laughs> Wait, what, what day is your birthday? What, you, what day is it? Mm, no. You win the show. Oh, Friday. You said it's on Friday. So September will be the 24th. September that's a, that's, a, that's uh, a Friday. You know what's sick? There's, you know Friday, the chick who sings it? Rebecca Black? It's Friday. Friday. Okay, right. Who's yeah. singing? She's... Should we do one of the t- best things? <laughs> yeah, but not now. <laughs> but also because I sound like... Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't quite work. Um, Marry but- me and I will <laughs> buy you true God. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, the fucking what was it? Oh, you asked, that actually threw me. <laughs> like, I seriously don't know what Friday, I was thinking about. Friday. Oh, Rebecca Black. That's right. Mm. She's she's um famous on TikTok. Why now. is she black? Why is her name Rebecca? Why isn't she white? It's just her name. I'm not. I didn't make the rules. No, no there's something. Rebecca there's Black. Some, there's some, Friday. There's something. Call Iris PCA. Get out of here. Get this dog out of here. Oh, you know, do you remember <laughs> when Friday came out? Were you one of the kids that hated it or liked it? I don't remember when it came out. When did it come out? <laughs> September. 2008. Somewhere in 2008, I think. 2008 or 9. Yeah, September 08. Oh. Really? I thought it was a lot older than that. No, let's see. Friday, Rebecca Black. September 08. Um, it came out in. I don't know, bro. You know, I hate the one. 2011. Okay. The what first the one. Fuck? Friday. Song. Oh, the song. The first, I was what? Like, what are you talking about? The movie. <laughs> no, no. That's why, that's why I said no, no, Ice Cube with Chris Tucker. <laughs> the song Friday by Rebecca Black. Yeah, just, yeah, just doesn't let me. I could have told you that if I knew what we were talking about. But okay, so did, were you fans of it or like nah. against it? I'd, no, I wasn't really into that music at the time. I think I was a fan of it. I didn't hate it. But <clears throat> sorry, what the fuck happened there? Um, the album song. <laughs> yeah, no, sick. But like, so like, you, <laughs> you weren't a fan of it. Like, no, I was. I, I was, was, was a f- massive, sarcastic fan really? of it. Really? I knew all the lyrics to the song, and I probably could still do it. Go on then. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have a bowl, gotta have my cereal. Fuck! Um, um, damn it! Fuck! Yeah, I don't know what. That's alright. And sitting in the front seat, kicking in the back seat, gotta make my mind. I don't know any of this. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. It Friday. You know what happened to that? Like, like she got canned. She was like absolutely roasted off of social media. Yeah, poor girl. She's shit. No, no, she's not shit. She was like an eleven-year-old girl. Sorry, she's not good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> anyways, and she actually is a very good singer now. Like, she's yeah, she's, she's singing her whole life. But anyways, but like her Michelle. parents were very wealthy. Yeah. And for her birthday, they got her a video clip to do and a song and stuff like that. I went through all of the catalog of songs. They had a lot of songs that yeah. were like really shit. Friday wasn't even the shittest at all. There was oh, much God. shitter songs out there. But like, she just happened to be one that blew up. I'm like, well, poor kid that she like had like no high school, like, like, cause like it was really tough for her because everyone just roasted her. Yeah. But 
She wasn't the shit this morning. She how, just happened to be there. How are the turntables? Oh my god, we've all watched this. In this the case, it's a glass table as well. What do we do with that? Yeah, we've got a glass table. We're moving up in the world. Yeah, glass table. Oh my god. We've got tennis and whiskey. We've got microphones. we got. What's this? What's the vape? Alright. You keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, what was our next topic you, you have on that? I want to talk about babies for a second here. Yeah? What were we talking the... about the other day? Remember we were talking about we are doing some research and babies have those survival instincts babies that what? are fucking incredible? Oh, There's yeah. a bunch of babies that have survival instincts. Yeah. I mean, like, if you think about it, like... What, what, All the babies do. Yeah, but, like, if you think about... <laughs> you're right, you know... You're There's a bunch right. of babies. <laughs> animals are a lot more innate than us. Like, yeah. a giraffe falls out of the womb and walks. A horse yeah. gets out of and can walk. That's our a thing, big fall. I think it is. It, they have to drop from fucking six foot up in the air. They break their necks. As instant babies and shit like that. Yeah, but, but anyways, they're also big as well, so it's also um, big for them. Yeah, <laughs> so, but it's still, yeah, it's still a drop. But who is it? Like, yeah, like horses have to walk straight away. And our humans are just fucking idiots till they're like six. And even then, they're still Because we're the dumbest species on earth. What, uh, what it is, is I think, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this somewhere, that it's because we're the top of the food chain. We don't have to walk as soon as we get out now because nothing's coming to kill oh. us. You know, except murderers and thieves. Giraffes, giraffes have oh. to stand. Yeah, except for mur- <laughs> baby murderers and baby thieves. <laughs> yeah. Those guys. I'll kill you. But there's not much we can do about that. Yeah. You but know. Um, um, so like kids, like we're dumber because well we can take the time. Like nothing's gonna kill us. Yeah. Um, and and so was it that? Um, uh, but like we've got survival instincts. You know, like babies are born, and the, the only thing they can do is suck. Yeah. They suck titties. But I mean, like, we're wasting time for not learning how to walk straight away. We could be, like, superhumans at, like, five if we weren't fucking, like, if we were being hunted. So know? piss fun around! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, but, like, there's, like, yeah, like, there's, like, even, like, survival instincts that you see. Because, like, we don't have any survival instincts anymore, like, as people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if a car's about to hit you, you go, Ugh! You know, and that's your survival instinct. If your hand's on fire, you go, Ugh! And yeah, that's yeah, your survival I mean, instinct. Oh. That, that's that's all you've got, you know. That, that's a bit but hard. We're not like I can't like sense, you know, that a predator's around me. Like, yeah. like I can't. I'm, my hearing's not hearing's not that good anymore. His vision's not that really. Good anymore. No, but I'm saying I'm just saying in general. Pretty good at that. Actually. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty good at knowing when predators are around. I can I can smell sex predators. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Sex predators. Smell one. Smell smell, smell around for now. And you gotta oh. do it. <laughs> this room is ripe with sex predators. <laughs> It's me! <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, yeah. Oh, I think um, I should stop. No, but the, the <laughs> fucking, um, um, yeah, we've got like no survival instincts anymore. We're not like, yeah. we can't smell amazing there in that. Because now. we think we're too smart. So, so some of the things that are really cool is that like survival instincts come out when like we give birth. Yeah. Like when, well, when you, me, and, and we that's, give that's birth. That's what I found interesting. So it's also like, you know, like when the babies are sick, you know, you can't oh, give him shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get him to milk, yeah, you just get him to suck on some titty more. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, we, we, me and Sarah, we're like, I found this out in, like, the first time when we were having uh, Claudia. And, like, when your baby's sick, they will pass their sickness through the boob to the mum. And the mum will make milk that gives her antibodies for that specific Fuck sickness. Right? That's so Yeah, that's... You, you can't give medicine to babies, but you can give boob to, medicine well, to babies. Well, all you can do is... That, that's like a man's, you know, dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One milk? It's a man's <laughs> world! One's a beer, one's a pillow. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Done. Done. You're set for life. How are you oh, engaged? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how's how's know. your fiance in this room? <laughs> She's laughing, so she, I might be doing something, right? She's not laughing. You were something like, shut up. <laughs> no, Wait, but. but I a thief? Like, I, I've had breast milk. Have you? Yep. That's it's a like coconut, apparently, isn't it? Almond. Almond milk. Mm. So yeah, you're but lying. Sweeter, but sweeter. <laughs> Does that mean if you have a nut allergy, you can't have your own milk? I think you thought of... Why do we no, have almond milk? No, it's not made of almonds. I don't know that. Almonds don't have titties. I've thought about this for a long time. Why don't we have, them, like, cat milk then? If how you can how make do they make almond milk? They ferment almond beans and stuff like that. And no, like, in water and shit? What are they yeah, they, then they take that water and they're like... Like, it's weird enough that we're drinking other animals' milk. So weird. You know, and now, only, now they're making the, fucking everything else. We're milk. the only species of um, mammals that drink other mammals. Drink other mammals. That's milk. so weird. I mean, we could be drinking mummy titty milk the whole life, but that's a bit weird. Mummy titty milk. 
I'm not my tin milk. That's what that's, oh. that's my brand. Oh, as in like your mum's. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was a brand. <laughs> I no. thought like alongside Woolworths, so like there Thank was mummy tin milk. Thank you. Any actual brand we need? That, that, that means a lot. Mummy tin milk. I've obviously seen it a lot. Should we? Should we? Should we plug ourselves? Mm. What a brand? <laughs> I want. I really want to make it. I think it oh, could yeah. be successful. We've got. We've got a band. We've got a band. We've got a brand down in Italy, sunny up. We got some workers down there. Um, we got an office. Uh, are they working? Um, it's called. It's called. Office is there. Sapore di latte and um. Sapore di latte. <laughs> Basically, we got a factory in the back. Which of the translates shop. literally to f- the flavor. The of flavor milk. of milk. Milk flavor. Yeah, but it's beautiful. It sounds beautiful. Sapore di latte. But yeah. the cloying that comes in. Basically, our <laughs> operators it, it operates in uh, it, it's a it's a fairly quick, yeah. fairly quick process. So wait, you just are you just milking Italian of, ladies? We get a bunch of ca- no no applications every week. <laughs> we we mainly people want to do this. We mainly yeah, yeah. we mainly supply for the army, so they can have milk. <laughs> Imagine being in the trenches and not having milk. What the fuck? Yeah, just, like, yeah. You're like oh, surrender. Oh, kill yourself. Get some Nutri-Grain, Put some of that. Support the latte titty milk on my you're food. You're gonna tell you this in history lesson, but there's a lot of times when they've, they've like partially surrendered because like, wait, we ran a milk hole. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we've got a shipment, a shipment coming and in. I'm not seconds. eating this fruit loops dry. It's like it's, yeah. like, it's attached yeah. to the missile that's coming by to kill you guys, but like we need the milk first. Why did you set this industry up in Italy? Is there a bigger market for titty milk in Italy? Yeah. Well, support the latte. It's not titty milk. milk. Smelt. It's Sound proper. Water. It's proper uh, milk. We don't From women. <laughs> We don't, we don't have to lie here. We don't lie here. Okay. Yeah. Basically, we get a bunch of applications every week of um, pregnant women. Um, that want to do this. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, how, much how much are you offering them? How much money do you offer child, them? everything. Well. How much money do you offer They make them? money. How much? We won't just close it just yet. <laughs> let's, let's go for a per hour mark. Am I saying 10 bucks an hour? A bit more than that. What? Oh, we, just a bit. Okay. Then it's fine. <laughs> what? 10 bucks an hour? Why do we pay our workers? We yeah. take we take good care of them. You know, we think about the kids. Feed. We scratch our back or scratch their back? Wait, what? Except my back is located on my car. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, what are you, you're scratching, they're scratching your back by giving you tea. The, the best thing about You're scratching their back by... Giving them money. No, 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 no. After we give them a job. Job. Something to do. Oh, why well, they're They don't want to get money. Right, because this, is, we did agree on this that. is not government funded. It's not... We don't get any money from it. <laughs> so they're bored. We don't get money. So they're going to do all some... The money, all the money we make, we send it back into paying oh. them. So yeah, it's, it's so they, they send us money... We send it back to them once we, we only take, the milk. We only take a 7%, <laughs> what? Only take so a 7% cut quarterly. It's, so it's, a, it's a win-win. I want, I want to understand this business that you run. Yeah. Women give you money yeah. to work for you. When they work for you, you give them back their money. Yep. Yeah. No, no. It's like a deposit. It's not, it's, but if for you put nothing, it like that, nothing. it's so fucking stupid. Oh, sorry. It sounds stupid. We make yeah. no profit, Jacob. It's a charity run. <laughs> our business is worth nothing. Anyway, so basically, <laughs> basically, basically have a lot of our customers. We have to give it away. <laughs> we've got we've got a bunch uh, in the factory back behind the office. We've got the factory, and basically we set up a whole bunch of chairs, comfortable couch chairs, and there's sort of like a plane. You know when there's an emergency in a plane and you're fucking little. I know exactly what you're talking about. Spread. Except for putting, from put, instead of putting it on your mouth, you just put it on your teeth. So it's like one of those, yeah, plane drops down the air ventilators. Yeah, everyone's got their own coffee table with, you know, free coffee orders. Just, They're going to find their This is something important, from... though. There is cubicles, so no one can see what you're doing. It's not gross. <laughs> oh, no, it's We're not definitely not. Yeah, of course. No, no, I didn't think that for There's a second. cubicles. That, I didn't they get think magazines, they get a TV in there. That, the literal, I never thought for a second that Sapporo de Latte, which it isn't, doesn't taste like milk. Mm. Or are you starting with a lie? I never thought this was a shifty no, business. No, no, we... No, okay, you don't understand the business now. I don't. Do you know why we're doing this? this way? They send us milk. <laughs> For what? So there's millions of families who suffer every year. This is Babies serious cause. Not every, not every month can lactate. We're, we're you know, we're... we're it's, a, it's a whole... That is it for babies? Us. It's for babies. Instead so of having that process fucking... We're to drink it. You're not going to die. Bottle shit. You drink just it. have... Fucking drink it. Fucking drink so, it. So it's definitely not for. It's definitely for babies, but anyone can give it a go. It's not for babies. It's for humans. <laughs> that sounds like the worst tagline of an ad I've ever heard. Not for babies. Stop it's drinking for cows. Drink your mother. That's the slogan. Dude, camera. it's not. Why is the Australian government behind retirement business? They're, 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 they're framing they're us. Fucking, they're framing so us. So now we're making money. 
I friend their house, they friend us. <laughs> this is all confusing, I know, but once you're in the business, you'll understand. I, am I coming on to the business? Like, no, I it's all about you. Know. Know. You don't understand the business <laughs> enough to you actually. Know. It's all about you, know. <laughs> you, you draw the family business, but. <laughs> but you're a medical doctor. It's all about who you know. It's all, it's all fairy dust. It doesn't fucking exist. So, so all this okay, like... basically, you know, hook us up, search us on, um, on Google. Support the latte in the milk, mother.com.au. It's no, 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 dot it com it. Dot it. 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 phone home slash Italia. What's your phone number? Your town phone number, guy? 320, don't know what to do, say. Oppure se mi vuoi chiamare sul telefono 2047 va bene, chiamami là e ti faccio vedere quello che devo fare. Oh, no, if anyone speaks enough Italian, he just actually roasted um, himself's husband in the fight, so that's come up. Tu dico di nuovo. 320-329-4226. Se mi vuoi chiamare a me sul telefono o a Marco 320-477-6087. Vuoi che lo dico di nuovo così non pensi che sto dicendo cazzate? Tiro, tiro, non 320-329-4226 Se vuoi chiamare a me o a Marco 320-477-6087 Sul telefono presto presto ti dico eh, Vuoi un po' di latte e sapore di latte te lo mando Ma quale sapore vuoi? We got different flavors by the way eh, Vanilla, cioccolato, pistacchio Minchia tutte cazzo di sapore La ciacola Spoon! <ride> Translates to vanilla. Spoon flavored tin milk. It's honey vanilla, boys. It's it's a trial and testing right now, but I think it's gonna work. You wanna summon this pussy, boys? No. That's our slogan. Anyway, so so we're basically not gonna do with milk. Come on down to summon the latte. You wanna this pussy? You come on down whenever you want. Up in twenty four seven. Yeah. A milk shop. Mate, our phones don't close. <laughs> our phones don't close. <laughs> Babies, think about it. They wake up, middle of the night. What do they want to get back to sleep? Milk. Cold. Milk. Cold. Cold. <laughs> Cold. Cold. 320-329-4226 Sul telefono, per me è Marco 320-437-0287 And just remember, no pussies, big pussy! <laughs> no pussies, big pussy! No pussy, big pussy! <laughs> We haven't heard this. Anyways, guys, we're getting back lot. on. Um, that was the worst segment of <laughs> podcasting ever. Ever. As in, it was the funniest shit. I think I'm a little bit drunk. But it's so, <laughs> it's so wrong what you said. Alright, for our next segment, everyone takes a swig of Jack Daniels, including oh. Jake here. <laughs> for our next segment, alright, but while we do this, um, let's fill in some music. We'd like to thank our um, sponsors. <laughs> Penis. Well, oh, you love shit. it. It's Tennessee honey. It's Tennessee it. and honey, mate. Oh, bro. It's a jag. I got goosebumps from drinking it. <laughs> Good tag. Is that buddy ad too? Yep. Is this only buddy. buddy ad? Yeah. We're still inside the same ad. He wasn't doors, he fake doors. <laughs> you can still buy your summer de latte. <laughs> What's that guy? Um, Frank, Franco. Answer my eyes, Johnson. Answer my eyes, Johnson. Franco. Franco Cazzo. Franco Cazzo. Franco Cazzo, but I'm looking for the sky. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, everyone knows he's, he's, he's a Melbourne guy. He's an yeah. Italian from Brunswick who Franco did a sofa Cotto. shop called Franco Cotto's Sofas. Oh, I think I remember this. And, and Martin knows the whole ad. He'll say to you. Megalo, megalo, megalo. Franco Cotto, get your sofas here. Yeah, Brunswick <laughs> for Sky. And oh, yeah, and it, was, it was just a big gag of like, ha, ha, ha. A little it, it, it's Italian. like, um, it's like, what's his name? Something Tiles, isn't it? Oh, hello! Frank Walker from National Tiles. Frank Walker from National Tiles. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, Such a fucking Also, worker. I thought about it the other day. I asked my parents, have they heard any Frank Walker ads over in Western Australia? I don't think he's no. actually. I don't think he's national. I think he's lying. I think he's just Victorian. He yeah. could be maybe Why are you lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> you, why are you lying to me? 
No, it's like, Sex is like the Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have one, you can never stop. <laughs> Your mother tricked me into having sex with her. <laughs> If you don't have one, you don't know what you're missing out on. Oh, fucking hell. Anyways, I'll Lord. take it and drip it out. No. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, the fucking, um, what, what was that? Oh, yeah, like Frank and Cotso. Oh, we just said some puppies. Put the puppies Get on the podcast puppies. in a second. Puppies show the, the puppies show the puppies. Show the puppies to the podcast for a second. Give me one, I'll hold him. I got a few questions for that dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's, your name? It's, it's, it's in, um, your name is Moss. Moss, isn't it? Was it? No. In you know, the interview with James Franco and Seth Rogen yeah. in the film. Yeah. We're like, we're like, oh, dude, I've got to get in here. It looks like Matthew McConaughey <laughs> fucked a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, oh, damn, we're going to do this North Korea thing? Do the Matthew McConaughey thing. Then we'll do the North Korea thing. It's like, <laughs> I've got some questions for that girl. <laughs> That film is so good. Well, yeah, it great, fucking man. Eminem is gay. Like, I've been leaving a breadcrumb trail of gayness. <laughs> like, I can't be, I've been gay a lot of this time. I can't believe I actually got to do that. It's so good. I wrecked your Hector. I wrecked your rectum. Him. It's a lookalike. It's not him. No, no shit. It's, it's not him. I searched it. It's Marshall Mathers. It's Eminem. It's Marshall Mathers. It's not. I actually searched it. It's you know, 100% Eminem. <laughs> <It's not him. laughs> no, but you know Marshall, you know Eminem is related to Mayweather's? Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Why? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why are you related name, to your sister? His last name sounds a little bit like No, it. they're actually the same person. Marshall <laughs> and they're, they're the exactly same, same person. And then his <laughs> world famous boxer Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> and Mate, he, just, he turns black when he boxes. You know, some people do carpentry, <laughs> some people do gay cabinets, so... Bill gay cabinets? Yeah. Wait, um, you know, oh, what was I saying? Did you see Bill Gates um, broke up with his wife? Why? I thought she broke up with him. Yeah, he did. She did enough money. They've separated. So can you, he's now not like as rich because she's going to get some of that money. Yeah. Yeah, but he's still going to be rich. Yeah, he will be like more than me, but like. But he's but probably. Half. Well, what, what, what is she getting? Yeah, a couple of billion. At least. At least. He's worth one hundred twenty-seven billion. Yeah, but she's why, getting she, at least why is she getting billion. Why is she getting money? She, she should get half. It. She didn't do anything. Yeah, but she's like they're separating. Oh, but also it turns out that they're potentially separating. Somebody said this the other day. That they're potentially separating because it, it turns out he was going on the Jeffrey Epstein holiday weekends away with the underage girls. You don't know about this, Jeffrey Epstein? No. You know Jeffrey Epstein? Part. The guy that killed himself in jail and everyone thinks he definitely didn't kill himself? Jeffrey yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself? Nope. Oh, there's this guy, he's a world famous guy, he's friends with Bill Clinton, fucking everyone famous, Michael Jackson, uh, yeah. Prince Philip, uh, uh, like the uncle of the yeah, king, right, king right, right, right. who used to fly out underage girls to an island and just let the celebrities have their way with them and stuff like that. Dude, there's something like 80 like people have come forward and said that he did that and stuff like that. And he supposedly killed himself in jail. No, Bill Clinton used to go to those trips and stuff like that. Like famous people, big, big people. Not just like like a lot of Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, like all these people and stuff like that went on these trips That's fucked on up. a private jet yeah. to a private island where there was underage girls. There's 80 cases of them saying. Some people say like Prince Philip, like the, the Queen's son. But were the girls informed? <laughs> they were, but Did they were trapped. Did they sign anything? They were trapped. Like, he would say, I'd set you up for, I'll set you up for life and stuff like that, you know? It's like, if you come at me and stuff like that. But the thing is, not all of them were underage girls that were on the island. Some of them were 18-year-olds and stuff like that, but they were being treated like prostitutes and not getting paid. Oh, God. And trapped on an island. I don't think not getting paid is the, is the point here. The point is, it's fucked. <laughs> no, sorry, it is fucked. Oh, you're right. You can but, fuck me and then not pay me? Yeah, no, no, sorry. That's what I'm angry at. But, <laughs> but there's like, there's like, Plenty of like really, really up his people. And his wife, Ghislaine Maxwell, who was the one who organized a lot of these girls to come out to the island. Like what? Is, is currently in jail facing charges of 85 so counts of sex trafficking. His oh wife, is, her name is Ghislaine Maxwell. Is this Bill Gates' wife? No, the Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Epstein's wife. But it turns out that the wife of Bill Gates might be divorcing him because it turns out that he was potentially on one of the flight charts. Yeah, fair of, enough. She deserves more charts. than half. Bro, I'm saying, yeah, bro, like. Well, sorry. She does more than half. He deserves to take it all off him if he was on those eyes. But no, it's not proven yet at all. Something like that. I I'm, believe it. I'm just saying, like, like that, that somebody said that, and I'm like, oh, was, that, if that's the case, that's pretty it's fucking serious. sad. That's, that's fucking Bible. gross. No, no, no. I saw it on. I Lad heard Bible. some. No, I heard another podcast on Lad Bible. Mm. I heard another podcast on Lad Bible. Not Lad Bible. 
Wikipedia. Yeah, one of those. I listen to other podcasts other than this one. I'm sorry, uh, I've been cheating on you. You know, I only started listening to our podcast the other day. I, I listened to our podcast. <laughs> I've never watched one episode. You should. They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> you should plug it now. <laughs> if you're like, plug it now. I don't want to listen to this shit. I haven't, I haven't watched. Let's the, make a podcast episode. Let's make I've a watched podcast. the highlights. Not the. It's yes. like a podcast episode of us watching a podcast episode. That's yeah, true. we'll react to the episode and be like, "That wasn't funny." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was. We apologise in advance. That was a bad one. Um, uh, bro, I um, I saw this this comedy special today. Bo Burnham. Do you know Bo Burnham? Famous comedian. Um, actually, I'll get him up. But yeah, he had that, he had that nut sleep in Las Vegas. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, what did he have? The nut sleep. Well, he's he's not he's, slipped his out. His testicle just slipped out. No, that's unfortunate. Yeah. You know this I guy? Know, this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. He yeah, recognizes yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Just plays piano. Oh yeah, yeah, but sure. He, he did this. Re- he did this really cool joke, and I, and I thought it was cool. He was like, "What's our favorite ice cream? Cookies and cock." No, <laughs> Dude, like cookies and cream. Yeah, cool. Um, and what's that thing that's yellow and you peel down? It's a ba- banana. Cool. And then our favorite flavor of chips: salt and veer. Nigga, <gasps> you're racist. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you say that? I don't care. He did that with a whole crowd. I'm not driving. <laughs> he got the, he got the, oh my god. <laughs> you just said it again! No, because you oh, did you test it? Yeah, I was testing it to see if it actually worked. No, but anyways, it was hilarious and he did this with a whole crowd. Anyways, he just did a comedy special from his own house in lockdown. Oh that's sick. And it's like eight it, it took him like eight months to do. Like he, he did it over eight months of like. Why did it take so long? Because he was going crazy and it was like trying to figure it around other things he was doing. So um, but he did it. He wrote it, directed it, filmed it, and everything himself. That's good. And it's on Netflix. It's f- now it's fucking hilarious, but it's also incredibly depressing because he actually oh. he, like he, he goes into a depression because he's in lockdown and stuff like that. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and so he's like going crazy by the end. <laughs> Jesus, what it, a funny guy. And he's a comedian, so he's already got mental problems. What a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is depression. What a comedian, <laughs> right? Just fucking. That's such a comedian thing to do. Um, all right, boys. I think we're finished with this episode. I think we're finished with this episode. All right, Are so you thinking you think you think you're funny? I think we did very... <laughs> oh, well, was that what you were going for? <laughs> now I'm shooting the audience! Fuck you! Fuck <laughs> you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Who wants to lead us in what we always say at the end of the week? Who wants to go to As we always say... I like bananas inside my dick. Oh, together as one. Support the artist. Support the artist. Alright, guys, thank you, Shenanigan. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.